Some people have been making claims that the government is giving away free solar panels, but that's not really true. Here's what's actually happening. Let's talk about the solar ITC. What it is, how it works, and how to get it. For the foreseeable future, it is a credit in the amount of 30% of what you spend on your solar energy system. That means, hypothetical scenario, if you spent $20,000 on a solar energy system, you could claim as a credit $6,000 on your ITC. But what's the difference between a tax credit, a tax deduction, or a tax rebate? Let's take a look. First, let's talk about a tax rebate. That's just basically straight money back into your account. You do with it as you will. Secondly, a tax deduction works by reducing the amount of your taxable income. Lastly, a tax credit is a reduction in the amount of taxes that you actually would have to owe to the federal government. And that is where the ITC comes into play. So that's my brief breakdown. But if you want to know a little bit more detail about that, then please read the article that we link to below in the description of this video and we explain some of that in greater detail. Now I know what you're saying, Mitch, I don't have $6,000 in taxes that I owe every year. Well, that's okay. First of all, that's a hypothetical situation. If you only use a certain portion, let's say you only use 2,000 in year one, the 4,000 remaining will roll over for year two and subsequently in year three and four. So long as you have taxes owed, it will continue to roll over until you exhaust the full amount of that credit. A common question is, is there a cap or is there a max amount of credit? And the short answer to that is no. And finally, the question that we always get asked is, how do you actually get the credit? Well, there are three main things that you do to get the credit. Number one is you actually have to go solar and do the investment. Secondly, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you keep a record of the invoice and the documentation of your project. In fact, we will send you a folder with documents for your project. And lastly, you will need to fill out the federal IRS form 5695, but you don't have to remember that number. You can just Google search the solar ITC form and you'll be able to find it. Or Safari search or DuckDuckGo or whatever search engine you choose. Okay, friends, that was my brief rundown of the Solar ITC. I hope it was helpful. If it wasn't, I apologize. But if you have other questions, please seek the help of a trusted tax professional that you know. We are not tax professionals, but I'm sure you can find somebody if you have other detailed questions. On other questions regarding solar, please come find us. We're happy to help the best we can. In the meantime, take care. We'll see you later.